Hey, I'm Jackal Destruct here with an instruct. So, in case you wanted to add any kind of structures to your wor world, whether they be witch huts, um, raid farm, uh, well, raid outposts, um, or any other things like that, um, because let's say you found the perfect world, but it just doesn't have the things that you want. Um, so we can go ahead and just add those in ourselves instead of just having to search through hundreds of seats. Um, so to show you how to do this, we'll just go ahead and create a new world here. And uh, just to make things easier, we'll just go ahead and set ourselves in creative. Okay. So first thing that we'll do is we'll locate the swamp hut, the witch hut, and we'll go ahead and teleport there. Two, eight, two, two, seven, four. All right, so here's our witch hut, and they always spawn in the northwest corner of the uh, of the chunk, as you can see here. And one of the things you're going to need to know is <laughs> what chunk this witch hut is in. So as you can see, and I will highlight it in the video, that this is in chunk 177, 169. So we're actually going to want to write that down uh, for whichever you know chunk your structure is in. And we're also going to want to know the chunk that we're going to place it in. Um, so I'm just going to go to the next chunk over here. And it's 177, 168. So not too difficult. But what we're also going to want to know is the bounding box for the witch hut. So in order for us to know where it'll be in our new chunk, we'll just go ahead and take this bottom corner here so as you can see uh, from this top northwest uh, corner because uh, if you see here we're facing north and this is west so we'll want to go up six blocks one two three four five six and then we'll want to go over eight blocks two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, because this. And then over six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the other end of our bounding box. Okay? So up six, over eight, across six. All right? So we'll go ahead and do that here from C, uh, from, because you don't want to do it at um, water level, you want to do it at the block above. Uh, so yeah, we'll start at this block here, and we'll go ahead and take this block's position, which is 2, 8, 32, 63, and we do need the Y value, and 28, 6, 88. Okay. And then from there we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's our block. Okay. And just to show you that this is just I'm gonna I have a Nem Bomb's carpet mod here. You can see here that this spawns anything. Slime, Enderman, Witch Slime, Sheep, Pig, whatever. So, and if you go into the Witch Hut here, it only spawns Witches, Cats, and Bats. So those are the only things that can spawn here. That's how you know this is a Witch Hut. Okay? And everything else here will slime everything up, or spawn 
everything else. Okay, so now that we have our two values, because um, this one is 28, 38, 69, giggity, 26, 96. Okay, and we'll go ahead and uh, get out of our world. And um, in case, you also, I mean, obviously you're going to need NTP Explorer to do this. Um, but in case it doesn't show you where your saves are, um, in case you don't know where they are, I have it pinned over here. But if you go into your C drive, your users, click on your username. And in case this isn't done for you already, go ahead and click on hidden items in your view to show this app data folder. Go into that, go into roaming, and this is where your Minecraft folder saves all of your saves at. So this is where your worlds will be. Uh, also where your mods, your schematics, and uh, all those will be here. So in your saves folder, we'll open up the new world and go into region. Now, your chunk value which was 177 and 169 so 177 and we'll divide that by 32 and we have 5.5 here and 169 divided by 32 it's 5.2 so we'll go to 55 five. okay yep it was right so it was it didn't you just rounded down so, um, yeah, 177, 169. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 169. Yep, here it is. So, 178, 170. Sorry, passed it. So we got our 177, 169, and as you can see here in the structures, stats, our swamp hut has five entries here. That's how you know it's a valid swamp hut, okay? All these are invalid. So what we're going to do is copy this, okay? Now we wanted to go to uh, the next chunk over, 168. And in here, you can see that the swamp hut only has one entry. So we're actually going to delete this, okay? And click on your starts and paste the witch hut in. And as you can see, we now have a swamp hut with five entries, but we need to alter this. So we need to alter this one to be in chunk 168 and we need to alter these six integers okay so the 2832 don't actually have to update we have to update this one 2688 and then we have 2838 which is also the same and we need to alter this 2696 and there we go. So that's our bounding box for the swamp. Now, the only other thing that we need to go to to validate this swamp hut is in the references here. So as you can see, this swamp hut has zero long integers. So we're going to edit this. And we're going to enter in the chunk value. 177 space 168 because that's the chunk this is in. Then we're going to go over to here the hex view. In these last four digits, we're going to delete. See how it has B1 and then A8? The last four digits of this B1, we're going to delete. And the last four digits of this A8, we're going to delete. And then we're going to click OK. And that's it. Bob's your uncle. Click Save. And we'll go ahead and close this out and close this out. And as you can see here, when we open up our world now, uh, 
I think I might have to... Nope. There we go. True. As you can see, this is now a witch hut. Uh, witch hut. Not witch hut. Witch hut. So there you go. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, we would like need to completely reload the chunk. Because um, it's already generated. We would need to regenerate this chunk. My bad. Not reload. We would have to regenerate this chunk in order for this uh, witch hut to spawn. Um, so if you're actually able to like get close enough to your witch hut to kind of, you know, um, load this kind of region, but not have the chunks generated so that you can actually go and alter the files. And then when you come here in a world, um, you could actually generate these structures together. Um, but yeah, this is still a valid witch hut, even though the structure isn't shown, the bounding box is there. So you could build the witch hut up if you want, or just build your farm in this bounding box, because you, you already know that the bounding box goes from this block to this block. And yeah, so if you wanted to, you could literally just spam the all of these chunks with witch huts and have a massive witch farm, and it would be glorious. And I really hope you do it, because I'm actually planning on doing that now. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to be it for me here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Bye.